Welcome to the Crypto Angel channel. Let's look at dogs. There's not many people still talking about dogs, crypto, so I figured let's give it a shot. I'm really, really focusing on the smaller time frames. So the daily and lower is what I consider a small time frame. For the long, longest time, I was bearish. I did get a little bit of money in that last short, but now you have the daily time frame curving up, and even on the two-day time frame, that has more downside, actually. But the daily looks good to me. The 12-hour time frame is getting overbought, and overall, I suppose that this is actually still lower high, so I guess I think the macro time frame is unfortunately still bearish. I was coming to this video thinking, thinking it's bullish, but the 12-hour time frame, last time you were overbought, you were like around 12 uh, the last time you overbought in the 12-hour time frame, you were sitting at that 11.9 level, um, and now you're you haven't even breached nine. 9.5 really you haven't reached 9.61 that's your that's your last level high on the 12 hour time frame on the eight hour time frame you're overbought money flow sh does show that on the eight hour time frame you can get another move to the upside so that is a very good sign for the money flow the money flow suggests that this pump is not over even though the eight hour time frame is overbought the 12 hour same thing on the money flow and the daily i believe is the same way money flow on the daily is extremely bullish it's still at the bottom if we go down to four hour time frame right now you have that massive psychological resistance at that 10 level the day the four hour frame is overbought so now you would like to see it make a higher low above 8 1 um, but also the four hour time frame on the money flow is getting close to that overbought area so i'll just be cautious here right now i am long i'm probably gonna have my i, I might take my i'm gonna basically what my strategy is now is I don't like trading the smaller time frames, but when I think we're actually near top, I'm going to look at the smaller time frames to see what's going on. Right now, on the one hour time frame, you're in a downtrend, it, or you are in an uptrend, I should say, and it looks like you're flagging out making a, a bull pennant here, bull flag. So, my guess is the smaller time frames can give you a little bit more juice to the upside, but unfortunately, I think the macro picture of a downtrend is still at play, like on the 12 hour time frame that we have seen. So, really, you could be pretty pretty aggressive here and say that this measure move would take you up to that 10.5 level which is still a lower high on the 12 hour time frame um i would say that we are bullish short term unless you break 8.9 if you break 8.93 i'll call it i'd be looking for a move back to the downside you could even call it 8.96 8.95 um but that's my level to watch on the one hour time frame for a move back to the downside the one hour money flow is also bearish the 30 minute Right now, it's oversold. 15 minutes oversold. No, it's overbought at the top of the channel, making a lower high. So, really, if you do not break, if you hold 896, you're good. But if you don't break this now resistance here on the smaller time frames at 923 or bear. So, if you break 923, I see a breakout. If you lose 896, we'll call it 8980 even. Um, how about we just call it 90? If you lose 90, I'm looking for a dump. If you break, nine two two i'm looking for a pump back to the upside we'll see what happens that's my analysis if you break nine two two i'm looking for a move all the way up to that ten five level and if you break nine zero i'm looking for a dump probably to new lows guys enjoy this appreciate with your friends if you guys have not already hit the notification so you get notified every time i post a video on dogs or any other crypto asset and i will be live on mondays and saturday Mondays and Saturdays, 11 p.m. Central Time. I'll see you guys in the very next update.